Welcome. In this lesson, we're going to learn to do the transformations ourselves and not just recognize them. For instance, they give this triangle down here. This is the original triangle down here in the bottom. Then they first want us to do a translation. And the way they write rules for translations is they tell us how we're adjusting the x value and how we're adjusting the y value. So in other words, our x value is not adjusted. We leave the x the same but we're increasing y by 16, which means it's a translation up 16 units. So what I do is I just take the point, negative 8, negative 6, that's this first point, and if I add 16 to negative 8, or sorry, not to negative 8, to the y value, I got to add 16 to the y value, not the x, then I get to 10. The x didn't change. So this literally was a, just a shift up 16 units. This i, likewise, was shifted up 16 units, which negative 12 is the y value of the original point, add 16 is 4. This point has been shifted up 16 units. But now that's not the original, the final thing, because now what we want to do is we want to actually reflect it across the y-axis, which that means I take this point here and it's going to be reflected over to there. And if it x value is negative 8, when I reflect it across the y-axis, the x value becomes positive. So I get 8, 10. This point here gets reflected to there, and this point here gets reflected all the way over to there, which leaves us this final figure, which was moved up and then reflected over. I'm going to clear all that out. If you need to take a minute to go through that, it looks a little messy, but that's the process that you actually have to do with these just like that. In this one, we were first asked to translate it 17 units to the right without changing the y. That's why I add 17, moving it to the right, 17, which gave this figure here. I also added 17 to the u. I just didn't write it down to the x value of the u, all the way over here. Then I was supposed to rotate it 90 degrees which I do that L rule or that rotating L. If I go out 7 to the right 7 and down 3, if I rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise, this horizontal line will become vertical and it will be still 7 units in length. So I went out to 7 and this 3 unit length, little short part of the L, is going to come out horizontally to that point. And then I did that with the other 3 points. I go out 11 and down 7. So I go up 11 and right 7 to get to that point. Wait, what did I just do? That's funny that that's the exact. Oh no, no, I did that right. Out, down gives me that point there. And then this point, which is out 3. Got confused myself there's a little bit. It, it can get kind of confusing because a lot of things are going on. Go out three and go down 11. So I went up three and out 11 to get that point. So that's my final thing after a rotation of 90 degrees. It takes a little bit of practice, but I guarantee that if you do it a few times, it will get easier. And it's kind of fun actually to try to do all these transformations. Again, here's another one where we start with this original triangle here. We're going to rotate it 270 degrees counterclockwise, but remember that's the same as rotating it 90 degrees clockwise, which I found it easier rather than going up, down, and right. I'm just going to drop it down this way. So if I'm out 10 and up 3, when I rotate that, the 270 or the 90, the other degrees, it's can, this horizontal will become vertical. That's 10 units in length, 10 units in length. And this is 3, which is vertical, and it will become horizontal. So this point corresponds to that one. And then I did that with all other three points to get this image. Then it asks us to reflect it across the y-axis, which means I go across this y-axis to right here. And I do the same thing with this one. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Well, now I'm really messing things up. There we go. So then what I do is I'm this one's reflected over to there, 
and this one is reflected to there. Again, it just takes practice. I guarantee, again, if you keep practicing, it will get easier. Let's see how I did. Look at that. Again, I'm going to let you guys work on it now on your own. If you have any questions, please do bring them to class.